Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Flint Hill Goods truck bed extender for 2 inch hitches. It has a 350 pound weight capacity. Now this load extender will help you safely and easily transport longer loads with your truck or your SUV. Basically you can see this base right here is what will slide into your vehicle's 2 inch hitch receiver. And you can see it extends it out at an angle for clearance. It will get you a total length from your hitch pin hole to the end of the extension here of about 53 and a half inches. And what's nice, if you notice this bar here, you can raise up or down so you can get a height that will adjust to match the height of your truck bed. It does come with the four quick release snapper pins here that make setup very simple. You'll have a snapper pin in here, you'll have one in here for the height adjustments, and then one on each end here for the width adjustments. Now when you use this as a truck bed extender like this, in the retracted position, like this height bar right here, from the top of the shank to the top of the load bar. So when this is installed into your hitch, from the top of the shank to the top of this load bar, and it's retracted, is 15 and 3 quarter inches. If you extend this up all the way to the highest position, and then you measure from the top of the shank to the top of the load bar, it's going to be about 23 inches tall. Now the width can be adjusted, we mentioned. I want to zoom in from this angle so you can see on these bars here. <coughs> The width right here, you can see, you can move these bars in or out to whatever position you need and use the snapper pins to lock it into place. But if you measure this width, totally retract it, the inside width is going to be 28 inches. If you extend it out as far as you can, the inside width will be 48 inches. <clears throat> now the arms also will fold down, so in other words, you can slide this arm out all the way. And then there's a hole like this, and you can put it in there and attach your snapper pin and do the same on this side. You take this all the way out and just rotate it flat and slide it back in and pin it. Now it'll give you for additional support for a larger load. And you can also put something on top of here and use it as a portable workspace if you'd like. And just to put it back into the adjustable position, slide these back in like that. And again, use the snapper pins to lock it into place to where you need it. <clears throat> now the bed extender configuration. This will let you carry extra long loads that will extend past your truck bed. But what's nice about this part, by reversing these two pieces down here on the base, you can change this into a roof extender so it will go up higher. And just to show you what we're talking about, there's the two different positions. You can see the one horizontal position like it is in now is for a bed extender and then the other one goes up vertical as a roof extender. <clears throat> and the way you would do that, basically this port part right here will slide out. And all you do is reverse it, and then you take out your bar that slides up and down. We'll just set that right over here. And then what you'll do is reverse these. So in other words, this portion here now has the hitch pin holes here. You can slide this into your hitch. And then this portion here will slide right into the top here so it'll give you a higher vertical roof extender and what you would do is when, when you use it as a roof extender all put together the height of it it'll be from the top of the shank to the top of the load bar again is going to be 55 and 1 8 inches with this extended as far as it can tall it'll get you 63 and a quarter inches and as we mentioned the adjustable width on this will accommodate different size cargoes I'm just going to go ahead and put this back together as the bed extender. So again, we'll just slide this in. And again, you put your snapper pin in here. <clears throat> and then just take your height bar and slide it in just like that. And now you're back to the horizontal bed extender. <clears throat> this will free up space in your bed or your cargo area for other cargo. The adjustable width we mentioned accommodates different size cargo. If you notice, it has this nice reflective tape on here and on here to provide increased visibility. They do even include this 18 inch by 18 inch reflective flag. It has a little round hook on it that you can attach to one of the snapper pins to give you the visibility. It is a sturdy and durable steel construction. It does have a nice black powder coat finish on it to resist corrosion. Now when you do install this into your hitch receiver, it will require a hitch pin and clip or a hitch lock that is not included. You would have to supply that, or we do sell those separately, and the diameter is your standard 5 8 inch diameter. 
application again, this is designed to fit into two inch by two inch trailer hitch receivers and the weight capacity is 350 pounds. But that should do it for the review on this Flint Hill Goods truck bed extender for two inch hitches.